Hello YouTube. This is Anubis Rex with a small update. Um, this is a costume I've been wanting to make for a long time. Uh, it's based on a character from a Japanese film. And the movie wasn't so good, but I really like the character. So after a long time, I finally started working on this thing. Okay, so what you're looking at is a vinyl model of the character from the movie Cyber Ninja. The character's name is Shiro Nui. Uh, the movie was also called Mirai Ninja in Japan. And this is what I used to uh, base my character off of for reference for the cosplay. Sometimes I do cosplays of popular characters, but what I really like to do is obscure characters that, you know, no one's done yet. And that's getting harder and harder to find something that nobody else has done. But um, this is one that I searched the internet and searched the internet, and no one had done a cosplay of this, which is cool, but it also presented a problem because there was very little to go by on how to make, you know, the different parts for this. So I had to get creative. So I did what I do for most of my builds, and that is to start with the hardest part because, you know, it's usually going to take the most time. So once you're over that hurdle, everything else is, you can just kind of coast. So I started with the head. The head for this character has a lot of compound curves and multiple layers of material. So I knew it was going to be kind of hard. Also, I had to keep in mind how to incorporate the EL panel for the light uh, for the eyes as well as a place to incorporate a fan so I can breathe and not overheat in the helmet. Hey, and once I finished the helmet, all I have to do now is make everything else. I used one three and six millimeter craft foam to build all the armor for this cosplay. Um, I covered all the foam in wood glue to seal it and then added a layer of the AB liquid uh, urethane plastic to give it a nice shiny plastic coat. The best part about coating everything with urethane plastic is it only takes about five to ten minutes for the stuff to cure and then you can paint it and that speeds things up quite a bit. And lastly it was time to sew. Now I don't know about you but I like my ninja uniforms with larger more billowy pants. I don't like that straight leg crap. So I started looking around the internet for reference for something to base my pants off of. The only thing about big pants is that you have to do a lot of pleats, otherwise you'll never get them to fit in the waist. Anybody out there who sews knows that there's only one way to do pleats. Ugh. Now one of the last things I needed to do was make the belt, and I like to save money on my builds whenever I can, so I hopped down to the local thrift store and got an old leather jacket that I cut up and use the leather from that to make the outer casing for the belt which is actually a piece of foam with the leather sewn directly onto it. The sword for this cosplay is made out of foam PVC pipe and shoelaces and it could have looked nicer but I was pressed for time because I made the thing the night before the con so it is what it is. And this is what I ended up with. Please keep in mind that the costume is only about 85 percent complete but I wanted to show it to you anyway. Here it is. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.